just underway. Time for batting 14-25 for the quarter of the ball game. Keeping it is terrible. The option is to the 30 along the far sideline. 35 on his feet out there to the 40. And let's see where they say he went out of bounds all the way to the 44-yard line. As Turnell showed motion to Rich right side. Beautiful ex execution. So now the Huskies with a little bit of breathing are mounted their own 44-yard liner. So Tim back. Pumps once, pumps twice. Going to throw along for the bomb. He's got Aikens out there at the 10. He grabs it. He's inside the 5 with the grab and he's upended. Last time they used this formation, they went to Ricky Mitchell trying to slice in. Tim Terrell's going to call the signals again. Turns. This time he goes to Joe Law. Law's going to spin for the touchdown. First and 10. Had a chance here now to do something. Here's the quarterback, Terrell Rowling's going to cut back to the 50, 45, east to the 40, and finally away from behind at about the top. In this ball game. Northern goes to work once again. Terrell with a short count this time is going to come wide. Hands Carl Akins taking it around to the reverse. Akins to the 20, Akins to the 15 along the far sideline. One man to beat. He is smack dab in the middle of the field out between the hash marks. Terrell fakes the handoff to Wicks, goes back to pass. One man has him. He fires over the middle. Akins is down there. Akins with the grab at the three-yard line. He goes high in the air, makes the grab. What a Terrell now needs a big third down play. He goes back, rolling wide to the left side. Tim's going to keep his number. He's to the 25-30. He's got the first down. 35 runs over one man to about the 38-yard line or so. And he will have a northern little boy first down, as that was Tim Terrell's play all the way. Big third down play for Kent State. If they have any hope of being competitive, they need to pick one up here. Bensetic goes straight back, and he is going to get sacked back at the 20-yard line. Might have dropped the football. I don't know. No. He did drop the football. Congress, I think, to about the two-and-a-half-yard line, maybe the three. Here's Taylor rolling. Pumps his arm like he wants to throw. Runs away from one man. Now flips to the end zone. Touchdown to the corner. Right in the dead corner. Was fourth. At about nine to go for the first down. Ten yards to go for the touchdown. Just outside the ten-yard line of Northern Illinois, the rush is on, he gets away from one, and the pass is picked away by Burns, he's got an open field of the 20, 25, 30, one man to get him, he's to the 40, and Burns has spun down and dropped to the 45-yard line, there was one man who could have gotten Rich Burns and catch him, he did. It's not really going to matter though, clock stopped at 5.04, that's left for the ball game, Rayburn straight back, sets up, sets up, fakes the throw, he is going to go down, oh, he gets the pass away, but it's intercepted by Northern, Return back to the 20 and bounced down finally at about the 17 yard line is the Husky who made the grab at its big number 85 and that is Vernon Sims. <laughs> Here's the handoff. Ricky Mitchell has a nice opening. He's out across the 45, and Mitch is all the way to the midfield stripe before he's run down. 